So after announcing that it'll be a final season and then playing amazing at the start of the year, Daniel Collins has decided to go on into 2025. Let's go have a look at what she had to say on social media about playing next year. So this is what Daniel Collins said over on social media. Hi everyone, I've been a little MIA the last few weeks, so I want to give everyone an update. So the Danimal story has not reached its conclusion. I will be back on tour in 2025. While there are no guarantees in life, I hope to build on my 2024 momentum and keep playing until there is more certainty around my personal fertility journey. The only guarantee for now will be some more epic matches. Thank you to all my fans and the amazing people behind me that have been so encouraging during this time and also to my closest friends on tour that have been supporting me every step of the way. There is Daniel Collins coming back for another season. Of course, she announced that 2024 was going to be her last year and then she just started playing amazing. I mean, the start of the year, she won Miami, her first 1,000 title. She pushed Fiontech a couple of times this year, especially that one at the Olympics, which was a little bit spicy. Uh, and look, she's been one of the best players on tour. Unfortunately, the last couple of months hasn't been as good. She hasn't been playing that well. She lost in the first round of the US Open. She's been unable to play the last couple of tournaments, which have led her to sort of fall out of the race to the WTA Finals. It would have been a great finale if she had made the WTA Finals, and then maybe that had been her final tournament. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. But we're still getting another year of Danielle Collins. Let me know down in the comments below. How good could Collins be next year? Do you think she's a slam contender? Do you think she could win one of maybe the faster court slams Remember, she did make the Australian Open final a couple years ago, but the Danimal, back for 2025, postponing her retirement.